All right, guys. I want to sh show you this new battery backup I have. This is the Rav Power 14,000 milliamp battery backup. That's a lot of backup. Charge phones like six plus times. Certain phones more. Really a uh, nice amount of power with not too much size. I'm gonna show you guys uh, all my different battery backups in a minute here, so you can see the differences. But this one outputs at uh, three amps maximum, and it has two ports output one is one amp and one is two amps as you can see here and then it has a uh, micro USB in as you see over there it also has a light which you turn on and off by holding down the power button so that's nice to always have in case you ever need a light plus I sometimes use these things while camping so it's nice to have a little quick light to turn on at any time when you're inside your tent and then it has a status bar with four lights only three are lit up now comes with you know just an instruction manual little pouch for it the unit as well as the cords it comes with it comes with two USB cords and then some uh, connectors so let's go ahead and uh, look at this and compare it to my other battery backups alright so let's go ahead and look at my other backups and compare these on the left side here we got the smallest milliamp 5000 milliamp and on the right we have the RAV power with 14000 milliamps we already talked about that, so let's go ahead and talk about this next one. This is an Eziac. Actually, let me tell you real quick. The Rav Power is about currently, all these prices are subject to change. The Rav Power over here is currently about 43 bucks, and that's 14,000. This 12,000 is 39 bucks currently, so a couple bucks less. Now, what's cool about it is it has four ports it has a half amp port, 1.3, 1.0, and 1.2. Now it can only output at 3 amp amps maximum, just like the uh, Rav Power. So if you have 4 devices plugged in, you're only going to be able to charge them all at like 0.75 amps. If you have 3 devices plugged in, they can all charge at 1 amp. 2 devices plugged in, you could charge one, you know, 2.1 amps and 1 amp, 1 amp, you know. So it does limit the total output is only 3 amps. But it does have 4 ports, so if you can charge 4 things at once, has a nice little uh, micro USB in and that's all this has other than a power button here and it does have the lights four lights like uh, most of these have four lights in fact I think they all do <coughs> so I like that unit problem with it is it is larger and as you can see here the thickness is actually more than the uh, Rav power and the length is more than the Rav Power. So the EZAC, it's nice and everything, but it's larger for less milliamps. So I don't really like that. This is one of my favorite backup batteries I have. This is an Anchor uh, and it's 8400 milliamp. Let me go ahead and check something really quick. Okay, it's currently 36 bucks. It's 8400 milliamp and this one's a little di different. It has a 2 amp out, which is over here might be hard to see on here and it has a 0.6 amp so we got a little bit more than a half amp on one side and then we got a 2 amp so this thing is great because you can charge smaller devices like a GoPro or something with that 0.6 amp or like even older phones or whatever you want it's also great when I camp for U uh, USB lights I have uh, some USB lights and fans putting them in the 0.6 is awesome and then the 2 amps good enough for smartphones and everything so that's really nice charges with the micro USB really small unit 84,000 that'll charge my phone you know three times uh, it'll charge you know GoPros and stuff like that like four times also has a light same way you hold it on I believe maybe this one's a double click or something I think this one might be a double click okay this one's a double click to turn on the light but again it has a light there and this one's a double click to do it again four lights they all do that this one is one of my favorites uh, because of its size. 8400 milliamps, nice and small, has the light built in. Really like this one. Had that a long time and it's kept working perfectly. Now we have the new Trent. These are both 7000 milliamps. This is the new version. And the new Trent's uh, good. These are 7000s and they have a 1 amp and a 2 amp output. They're both the same. Uh, they both charge with a micro USB. Actually, this new one doesn't. This one was good. It's I, I don't use it that much. I, it's, I've had it for probably three years. I really don't use it that much because, like I said, I find myself using this one more, just because it seems smaller. And 
and I, you know, just like that one. This one's really cool. And this is the new version of the one I just showed. Again, it has a 1 amp and 2 amp out, but it actually has no input. What it does have is its own charging cable built right in. So it charges through this USB cable, but then you also, my phone uses micro USB to charge. I got a Samsung. It also has micro USB. So you don't need any cords. You can bring this with you. You don't need any cords whatsoever to charge your phone or anything like that. So that's really nice. This one has no light, but you can charge three things at once. You can charge one with this cord that you pull out, and then you still have the two USBs. So I really like this one because it's really easy to use. You don't need any cords. Uh, these are the 7,000 milliamp nutrients are about $30. And then for $25 we have this Limeade. It's 5,000 milliamps and um, it outputs at, I think it has a couple outputs, yeah it has a 1 amp output and it has a 2.1 amp output. It's got a 1 amp in but it also charges itself so unlike the new trend this one doesn't even have a micro USB and it just charges off the USB this one does have the one amp in but you can also simply charge it off the USB here and again the Limeade has a micro USB and you can actually buy the Limeade with a what are the new iPhone 5 cables lightning cables or whatever they're called you can get it with the iPhone 5 connect connector as well I found this to be okay um, but I found that it charges my phone very, very slow from any of the ports, and I'm not sure why. Uh, the specs of this are technically good, but in my using it, I find it just doesn't work properly. I don't know if I just got a faulty one or what, but I'll plug my phone into this, and two hours later, my phone will only be 10% higher than it was. So it's charging amazingly slow. I don't know what's up with it, and that's from the plugs and the pullout connector. So this one I don't use. Um, if it worked as it should, I'd probably like it. So anyways, guys, that's a whole thing of everyone, everyone that I had there. I talked a little bit about them. If I had to pick one <coughs> and only one, I'd probably go with this new Trent just because it's an all-in-one unit and I don't need any USB cords. That being said, the Anchor 8400's probably been my most used and probably my most liked one for its size. If you need something bigger, skip the EZAC and go for the RAV power. You're getting more uh, milliamps of uh, power while at the same time you're getting a smaller device. So go for the RAV power if you need something large. Otherwise, check out one of these two. Anyways, guys, just wanted to talk about those and uh, tell you guys a little bit about them. So if you have any questions, let me know. And we'll see you guys later.